Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to my Let's Plays of Motorsport Manager. We're of course, we're in the National GT Championship with Pinwheel Racing, our creator team. And well, in the last episode, we had a phenomenal race in Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. Uh, we got a 1 2, and Deville actually got a uh, fastest lap, I think it was as well. Yeah, we definitely didn't get the pole, we got fastest lap. And so, yeah, we got 12 points, 18 points. Did a really good job there. That's just jumped us one point ahead of Hammer. I don't think we're going to be able to hold that for long. But, uh, you know, it's given us a massive boost anyway. And uh, she's actually overtaken Lara in the championship as well. Uh, Kuchovic is still way out there. But, uh, you know, that really closed the gap. I don't think they scored at all. Uh, let's just have a look. I don't think... Oh, uh, no, Kuchovic managed to get a couple of points. I think they got, like, a fastest lap or something. Or pole position, I think it was, actually. I don't think either of them actually finished in the points. I think they got uh, pole position, I think that was. Um, so, yeah, that, that's really helped us out. It's definitely boosted us up a bit. Uh, we've got to keep this going. Um, I'm not sure how long we can keep it going for, but we're going to try and uh, try and make it work and keep that momentum going. That was good. And Lara, try not to crash anymore because uh, that really sucked. Um, let's go over here. We actually had a mistake-free weekend as well, which is just uh, really helpful as well. Let's get over here and we'll get to the... So a question, which one of you is a better driver? Oh, I'm going to say her because Lara's out here at the end of the season. I don't think it really matters. I think they've both got really good uh, really good morale anyway. So uh, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, Lara's, they're all maxed out anyway, so I don't think it really matters too much. All right, let's come over here. I'm going to swallow this truck. Let's check the new hires out first. Why not? Eh, you suck. Let's just get rid of everyone that's got a mistake chance. That means they've got low stamina, and then we'll kind of whittle it down. Hmm... I think you're a definite no. Yeah, to be honest, you're a no. And a, a rear jack? Do we need a rear jack, man? I don't think we do. Yeah, I've already got somebody that can do that. So, yeah, let's just get rid of you as well, I think. I don't think we need you. There we go. That's fine. Right, let's swap out. Let's get some tyres and refuel on the go. Yeah, we'll put you in. Tyres and refuel again. Let's just pull this down a bit. Um... Yeah, you could do someone that does tyres and refuel. There we go, that's good. Got some uh, 18s and 17s and stuff on the... Uh, could do with someone that's got sort of 19 and 18 or something. That would be uh, that would be nice. Um, but, uh, you know, at the moment we've got some decent ones. There we go, we'll put you in as the rear jack man. We'll put the front jack man. There we go. And then tyres and fixing. Uh, to be honest, the fixing doesn't really matter now because we're uh, we're not going to do that. Hopefully, he says. Um, yeah, as I say, you've not recovered yet. I didn't think you would have done. Um, well, we may as well put someone in. No, you don't have got good fixing. We're going to put you in. Uh, no, you've, I've just put you there. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I say, this guy I didn't think he'd recover because he lost like thirty stamina or something ridiculous in the last one. So, um, I will put you in. That's fine. Bit, bit slower, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, we were building a gearbox, right? Yeah, we're building a couple of gearboxes. Um, hopefully, Lara gets that nurse perk. Yeah, she's got nurse perk back. Oh, thank God. Yeah, right, okay. So we can stop uh, working on her parts, and uh, we'll switch over to... Um, yeah, that's going to be done in a couple of days. So I might just leave it till that comes in. So uh, anyway, let's quickly move, move it on, and we'll get to the, uh, get to the gearbox. Yeah, let's we'll probably do that. Okay, so here we are. The car repairs finished, but that was a day ago, and uh, the gearbox has now been finished. I'll just come over here and show you what I did. Uh, we'll drop that gearbox in for some work now. Um, I just dropped out. We were working on like Lara's parts, if you remember, because uh, we had to. But I switched everyone back over to this performance. I think it was actually already on that now, because um, we want to get that done. But obviously, I think we're going to switch you right back over here. Uh, yeah, we'll do that because I want a bit of work on this performance. We want that gearbox working because uh, we're going to use that for the race. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's good. And obviously the gearbox was done. So we're going to build one more gearbox now. And I think that's what we're going to do. One more gearbox. So we'll go... The, oof, oof. Um, let's have a look. Well, that we want. I mean, that minus is the risk level, but... Mm. Yeah, no, that that weight stripping is way too powerful. I don't think we want to. I think we want to go with that. I mean, we could no, because we can't select that again. Yeah, no, definitely want to do that. Ignore me. Um, and I think we'll just go with the build slightly faster because why not? Reliable. All we're really going to select there is reliability, 
and we could get that up anyway so i don't think we really need to man it plus look at that the red zones i mean like lara could probably use that gearbox straight out of the box actually we don't really need to do anything she could strip a crap ton of weight out of that damn that is gonna be one powerful gearbox Ooh, lara's got to use that gearbox definitely um yeah let's just make sure that's okay that's all good yeah that's that's good i'm could go with the random component but i don't think it's worth it i think i'm just going to take the straight up 35 performance in total so yeah let's do that and we as i say we may as well go with that because you know reliability we can we can make that work anyway so let's do that then we built really quickly as well so that's good and then we'll probably get onto like the brakes the gear uh, the brake suspension and uh, rear wing but they don't take that long to build so that's good and so yeah well that'll be ready just before the race uh that was hang on where were we that's going to take 22 days, so that sh we might be able to use that for Beijing. That would be really nice. And then we'll just start banging out these parts as well uh, as quickly as we can. So, uh, yeah, let's move it on and we'll get to a dilemma or the race or something. Okay, so here we go. We've got a dilemma just dropped in for wet weather training for uh, Danica DeVille. Oh, yes, perfect. That's good. We don't want that for Lara because... Um, you know, the uh, the other one, was it Annette that we've just hired? One of those two is fine because those are we're probably going to use next season. Uh, but Lara's out of here because we're not going to be able to rehire her because uh, she's over 21. So we want these dilemmas for her. So that's good. Uh, so I've got a chance to attend an intense weather, wet weather training course next month. But it costs a pretty penny. Would you be able to foot the bill? It'll benefit us all in the long run. Uh, wet weather pro or nothing? Well, I think we're going to go with the 500k. I think wet weather pro is it's either wet tires or is it just the track wet and you get like a plus one or two is it to all the stats something like that i think it's uh i think it's that i think it's when the track's wet i can't remember let's go with it anyway screw it we got we got half a million i think that's going to be worth it let's go have a look i can't remember if it's tires or um just when the track's wet modifier applies when the circuit is wet yes so when the circuit is wet and um, when it says wet uh, she'll get plus two to all of her stats which is really good but i think when it's soaked don't think that's i think it's only when it says wet not too sure i think it's when it says wet but uh, yeah i couldn't remember that was just on the wet tire or um whether that was uh, just when the wet when the track was wet but yeah plus two that's good it's not the best one we could have a racer or something would be better because you get plus two i think it is or one when the when the race is on so well uh, in my opinion that's really good but um yeah you know uh, that, that's not bad i'll say lara we don't want lara to get those because um yeah, we're not keeping her, so, uh, you know, it's just money wasted, to be honest. Still probably would have spent it, to be honest, because uh, you never know, it might rain and it might just make the difference, so uh, that's good. But uh, anyway, let's uh, move it on. We're only two days now away from uh, the race, and uh, we're almost done that uh, gearbox as well, so that'll be good for the race. So uh, let's just get over there. Okay, so here we are now. We're now ready to go off to Dubai. The gearbox is all finished. I haven't actually put anything in there, because I, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. We might as well just focus solely... Yeah, we, we screw it. We'll chuck some stuff in there. We might as well actually uh, just get him a passive tick. It's not really going to do. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll put that one in. Yeah. We'll put them both in. Why not? I, I'm probably going to build brakes next. So, uh, but you know, it, it, we're not actually spending anything as it were, or it, you know, using any staff. But they the the stat will go up very slowly you know 76 days it will go up slowly even if you've got nobody working on it so uh, you may as well put someone in there it doesn't cost you anything uh, we want to get these engines up to speed and then we want to start working on that gearbox next uh, we've got a couple of sponsors actually so let's come over here oh we've lost one of our big uh three star uh four star sponsors that's gonna hurt us the oh peach plum peach plum that is a really good it's like one star it is so good i mean that's a good that's a good sponsor don't get me wrong four four million what are you looking at three three point uh what are you looking at three hundred and eighty thousand something like that a race roughly works out but that's 12 races that's nine races that is such a good sponsor for a one star it's it's like crazy how good that is 350k yeah i think we're gonna take that one i don't know that I like the look of that one. Yeah, it's really going to hurt us in the uh, cash department. We've lost that, but um, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. That's uh, just uh, there's nothing we could do about that. Uh, we definitely need some uh, better better drivers. Is Lara's really letting us down? Is I mean, she's awesome, but her her marketing is awful, which is generally why I don't use her. But uh, you know, uh, we didn't really have much choice in this one. So let's come over here now. We're going to select that as our sponsor. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. I think. Um, do we risk it all and go with that? 
I, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to go with this. It's going to be, if we can just hit one end of this, it's going to be the same as if we get both ends of this. So I think this is probably worth it. I mean, you know, whether we get second or not, yeah, that's kind of more guaranteed, isn't it? That's a kind of gamble, shot in the dark. We might do this, we might not. I'm going to gamble, screw it. I'm going to gamble, let's do it. Uh, let's come over here. We're going to put that gearbox on to Lara because she's going to be able to strip the crap out of that thing. And she's going to be able to get a massive performance boost. I think we I think we really go with that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. And then we'll give her that. And then we'll give Lara the... Um, once the next one's built, we'll give Lara the next one. And uh, she can have that one as well. And then, yeah, Lara's going to be able to strip just a ton of weight out of that. It's going to be crazy. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, I've only got engines and gearboxes. That's fine. Right, so we're looking at with very low wear, low fuel burn, and it's only 24 laps. It's going to be pretty toasty, especially in the practice, but the race is going to cool down a little bit. I think we're probably looking at a medium tyre, one stop. I mean, you might be able to do the whole thing in one stop without ever actually stopping. You, you know, you never know. You might be able to do that. I don't think you'd be able to, but... If you backed it up and conserved for most of the race, you might be able to do it without stopping. But uh, I wouldn't recommend that, but uh, you might be able to do it. But uh, yeah, I think we're probably going to go with that in one stop. But uh, anyway, I shall go off now and go and do some practicing and I'll see you all back for Q1. Now, welcome to Q1 here in Dubai, where of course the weather is being dry. It was dry in the practice. I'm sure it's going to be dry for the qualifying and more or less dry for the race because, well, it's Dubai, so it very rarely rains. Uh, we'll go to Sweetie Spot. I went with the medium tyre. That's the hardest compound for this one. And uh, we've got the race trim as well, uh, which is good. I didn't manage to get anything else, but we managed to get level three. Uh, that's all good. Um, you have, do have light foot on the super softs. Hmm. I did not think about that, but that might be more useful than that. Although, hmm, not sure, but uh, we'll definitely use that because that's going to uh, help you out in this uh, qualifying session. Uh, we had pretty good uh, setups. It's got like 97. don't know why I clicked on that, but uh, there you go. And uh, we got 99 there. I kind of struggled to get those set up, but we managed to do it in the end. Let's come over here and we're going to strip out a bunch of weight uh, over here. Uh, what are you going to do? 85 and then you're going to strip right back because you're going to get a massive boost there we go because you've got nurse again so you're going to get a massive and then this one's good it's going to be insane because you get the times two uh, performance from uh, weight stripping so you know 240 that is a massive boost for lara damn she's going to be quick plus we're going to strip some of these down as well let's do that let's really strip lara down she's gonna she's gonna be like a rocket there we go get Lara right down she's got 410 on the performance we're banking a lot on Lara we're hoping she's going to do well uh we'll leave we we'll put Deville down a little bit I guess we could it's only 10 isn't it I prefer to take the 10 uh, I prefer to take the extra uh, reliability to be perfectly honest um yeah I think we're going to leave you the way it is so you've only got 45 we got 410 performance gain damn that is good once we get some extra parts in here as well we can really turn uh, Laura into a rocket. That's, a, that's fantastic. Okay, right. Let's jump in there. Let's get out. We're going to just bang a lap in. Uh, do we bang a lap in straight away or do we let them rubber the track down? It's quite a long lap here. I think we're going to I think we're going to let them go cuz it ain't going to rain. Uh, well, you know. It normally doesn't rain here, but uh, I'm sure if I leave it it'll probably rain. But uh, we're going to let them go for like a minute or so. Yeah, and then we're going to let them uh, get the track grip go up. And then we're going to uh, we're going to kind of go out. Let's, uh, let's send you out now. So we can kind of find a window to post you in. Ooh, that's not going to be good. Uh, ooh, there you go. You're just out in front. And then we'll try and post you out now. I think that might be a mistake, actually. Yeah, Ooh, are you going to get out before seven? Yes, you did. Yeah, but fight. Yeah, okay, you're in front of me. That's not good. Right, let's let them set the car up anyway. So Lauren might have a bit of an issue of traffic, but no, they should they should get in the pits actually before we uh, set up the car. So that'll be okay. They should jump in the pits and let us go. No, okay, they okay. They're starting their hot lap as well. No, they're doing their in lap. 
Okay, fair enough. Well, Laura is... Yeah, she's going to struggle with that. No, we've kind it past you. Yes, we have. Okay, Deville set first sector. Fastest first sector. Damn, that's good. I think we're going to... Should be able to easily get into this first... Uh, first bit of qualifying. Deville's up to seventh. Laura... One point... Oh, my God. Damn. Was that... I wasn't watching. Was that the last sector? What the hell happened there? Okay, well, Lara's out. Let's, let's just uh, let's just go with that. Damn, that wasn't good. Wow, how did you? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked by that, to be honest. Um, yeah. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I did not think Lara was going to do that bad. Oh, she must have got held. I'll have to watch that back. But uh, she must have got held up by traffic or something because she was doing all right then. But. Um, yeah, that was really bad. Okay, right. Well, we're probably not going to hit that target. Um, Lara's out. She, I was kind of banking on her to do well. And damn, look at that. Seven tenths almost off Deville. Oof. Now, welcome to Q2 here in Dubai, where, of course, it's going to remain dry. And we've only got one driver as well. That is not good. Um, yeah, that's not good. I think we're going to go out on this U set of tyres because she's uh, actually using less of that, which is going to be it's going to help her out if she gets to Q3. That's really going to help her out. She's going to have a, perhaps another lap of uh, tyre life over uh, over the competition. So I think we'll just go out on that U set for now. I kind of like to keep a couple of sets back for the uh, quali last qualifying session if we can go for that. But uh, just we'll try and go for that uh, second spot. But I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I think Lara was our best shot. But yeah, I didn't see what happened there. I think it was probably traffic, but I didn't notice it. Okay. Right, well, she's going around. She's not going to set. Obviously, the uh, purple times are going to get taken off by Smith. And, okay, Balcazar's not there either. Damn, what happened? Kuchevic's there, but where's Balcazar? Well, it's initial pole, but uh, Dirt, uh, Smith's got to come around. Kuchevic is going to light up this timing screen and just obliterate our time, I think. We are on the U set of tyres, so uh, hopefully we get a bit more pace there. Track grip is almost at maximum, so... Um, yeah, we're going to have to see how far she falls. This might not be a great track for us. Right, we'll let this go for like another... Just come to around the two-minute mark. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, she's got to go. We'll go uh, another set of those tyres. There we go. Let's get round to set up the car. And then we've got my final shot at it. We're looking to need you to find a couple of tents at least. Uh, but there's a bunch of people out on uh, fast laps. Ooh, Smith's put softs on. I wonder if people used up their super softs already. Because they often use them in the uh, practice, which wastes a set. And then, yeah, I'm thinking we might see some strange uh, combinations. She's going she's going green. She's going green again. She's got traffic, though, which is not good. Which is not good, but... Oh, third. oh my God, she dropped a spot. Okay, right. Well, that was terrible qualifying for us. Absolutely awful. Okay. Well, never mind then. Second is not looking good. <laughs> never mind. Oh, well. Well, we've got free tyre choice. Oh, welcome to Dubai here on race day where, yeah, it's all dry again. Um, that, that was not a good qualifying session. Uh, I'm really hoping we're going to pick something up in the uh, race here. Uh, we're going to go with those two perks because that's kind of better. I'm... Hmm... Well, I was initially going to go with mediums because, you know, we were, I was thinking we were going to get into the Q3, be stuck on the super softs, and then, uh, you know, use the hardest compound attire. Hmm. Now I'm not sure. We're going to have to go and have a look at their car setups. Let's go and do that now. Um, I think I think Lara is going to go. We've got 24 laps, so we could almost do it. I think we're probably going to go with this soft tire. What is this temperature? It's going to be hot. I think we're going to go with this soft tire with you. And I'm kind of tempted to put um, Deville onto this with that uh, light footed on the super soft because she has got two sets. She's got two fresh sets. We'll see how far she can get in this race with that tyre and then she might drop onto the soft or even the medium. We'll see how she does. But I think we'll split the strategies up. Um, she's got this light footed so she should be okay. Um, yeah, my only concern is the temperature. It's going to be really hot. I mean, to be honest, it's going to be hot for the soft tyres. It's going to be hot for all the tyres, to be honest. But I think this super soft is going to be really tough to uh, get through on that. 
it's going to be really hot for it. We're going to have to conserve it a lot because it's just going to overheat. Uh, what do we do? Or do we just start off on the mediums? Mm, what's everyone else doing? I'm just kind of a curiosity. Obviously, everyone's locked into that uh, super soft tire, so they're probably going to do one stop. It's kind of a mixed bag, isn't it? Yeah, I think most people are mediums or supers, but okay. Yeah, well, uh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you set a super's not good. Yeah, I think I'm going to split the strategies up. They're going to go on two different tyres. I think with that, um, it's just mainly the tyre heating is going to be my main concern. But I think we're going to go with that. Let's do it. Let's go for it. And then, uh, you know, she can either drop onto that um, uh, medium tyre or the soft tyre. Oh, let's watch her down here, actually. But hopefully we can kind of get through, kind of push through the, uh, push through the race. No, okay, come on. We're, Lara, we are really banking on you because we stripped a load of weight out of your car. You should be really quick. 20th? What the hell? Come on, Lara. Right, well, come on, DeVille. We, we need you to do the stuff because you've got the better tyres on then. She's just got fastest uh, middle sector. That's decent. Come on, DeVille. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Uh, man. No, we didn't get fastest last sector, but never mind. Um, yeah, it's not looking good, is it? No, it's not. Um, let's get some boosts on the go and see if that'll help us out. Yeah, 17th. Laura is doing terrible. I was really hoping she'd kind of pull it out. Let's drop down now because we're going to get... We, we, to be honest, we're going to have to conserve. That tyre's going to overheat big time. Um, we'll leave that. We'll leave the overtake going for a bit. I think we're okay with that. We'll leave that. But uh, I think we need to conserve because we're going to get up there. I'm going to start shredding that tyre big time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. These guys, though, I'm assuming they're going to go onto the medium tyre and try and do one stop. But you know, we'll see what they do. If they go soft or supers again, then they are definitely going to do two stops. We want to try and do a one-stop. That's kind of my goal there. Try and do one-stop. Uh, let's just kind of keep an eye on the car. Yeah, we're okay at the moment. We're going to kind of keep this overtake going for a bit longer, I think. But, damn. Yeah, we are really struggling on this one. We're going to keep the conserve going. Uh, we'll probably put you back up to medium for a bit, but... I think we're just going to keep conserving to be honest we'll try and go as far as we can the problem is the temperature here it's going to be a nightmare to keep these tires cold that is going to be the main issue we're going to have uh, these guys are going to come in soon we'll keep you down there let's get you to do like one lap we'll do like a lap and then alternate or something maybe um but yeah for now we're not doing well but people are going to start coming in the pits from the front you're not going to be too far behind when you're going to come in the pits also Okay, what's our lap times? 33.8, 32.6. Okay, that's not bad from Lara. She's gaining. But we are getting close to that heating point where they're going to start uh, shredding the tyres. So we're going to have to back them up again soon. Let's keep an eye on these cars as well. Yeah, they're okay at the moment. The brakes is the concern with uh, DeVille. But uh, some more people are coming in the pits. Yeah, a couple more in the pit, so we're going to get up there. Lara has now made her way up. Yeah, okay, she's going to have to drop down now. Let's back it up for a lap. Back it up for a lap, I think. More people are going to start coming in the pits. That's good. Uh, if we can get to, like, lap, you know, 12 or something with uh, DeVille and with uh, Lara, because uh, these are kind of wearing out at the same rate, these these tyres, so that's good. Got to keep an eye on, yeah, Tomens has put the medium on, so they're going to try and go to the end. They should be able to do that if they manage that right. Okay. Let's drop that back down again. Go back up there again. See if we can do a couple of laps back to neutral. Keep the keep the engine on overtake for now. We've got the fuel. May as well burn it. Um, I think I'm going to put hybrid mode on so we can just... Um, don't have to put quite so much fuel in um, when, we, uh, when we stop. Uh, so Smith has put those on and uh, Lega has put those on as well. So that probably means Kuchevic has put the mediums on. So they're definitely going to uh, go one. They're not going to stop again. Uh, you guys may stop again. 
and uh, you guys probably won't stop again either. If you put the medium on, you're probably going to get to the end. Dut's still going, damn. Okay, right, well, we'll keep going. A couple of laps like this, and then we'll kind of back up or something for a lap, and then, you know, go again. We're doing pretty quick on the times, though. We're doing well. It's only closing in on Dut, so, yeah. It's like Balak down here is uh, kind of, uh, you know, the, the one we've got to watch out for. They've put those on. They could probably get to the end on that, but I think it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be tough for that. Um, so we're going to get close to... Let's back up again now. Once they start complaining, they'll have uh, hit that uh, peak and they'll start chewing the tyres up. Okay, I think we're going to drop down. Drop the Helligrid mode. And we're going to uh, drop down the engine mode a little bit as well. Don't want to burn that out just yet. So 16.8 seconds off Balak. That's kind of our main goal, you know. Um, we're going to probably spend that stationary. So, yeah. Uh, we need to kind of keep uh, going. Let's go back again to that. Let's kind of just keep bouncing between the two. We've got that medium tyre in our back pocket if we want to use it. Kind of think a DeVille is going to use this super soft tyre because she's making that work really well and I think Lara might go onto the medium tyre but we'll see how she does and uh, see how far she can get uh, we're going to try and get to like lap 14-ish so if we can get another three laps that'll be great uh, but let's just see how we do anyway see what our lap times are like 33, 33 Balak's done a 33, 9 as well so we can just kind of extend that lead out a little bit that's going to be the main goal here going to have to try and stagger the two drivers as well. I think Lara's going to come in first, although your tyres go off a little bit first as well. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I think we'll do more hybrid mode. Less fuel we have to put in on the pit stop, I think, the better. Um, so you've got basically two laps. You've probably got three. Okay, let's back that up again. Let's back that up. Do we what do we do? What do we do? I really want to get another two laps over here. I think we're going to try for that. I think I'm going to try for that. Or do we go for it and come in and get it? No, screw it. We're getting a medium on. Let's go. You're coming in. I think we're going to get that medium tyre on. We're close to that. You know, we could probably use that soft tyre. Um, but the problem is going to be we're not going to have much of a tyre left. We managed to get 12 laps out of it. We're not going to have much of a tyre left once we stop. And it's like, uh, I just, I don't think that's worth it. I think probably going this medium and pushing it a bit more might be the way to go. Although we might just be able to do it on this soft tyre. That's out of the question. Um, if we got another lap out of you, I think that's fine. But the trouble is we're going to be, don't want to be pitting the two cars together. So I think we're going to go with this. Uh, I think we're going to go with this tyre and push it. Ah, that is the quicker tyre though. Hmm. Ah, I'm torn between the two here. I know that I know that's a quicker tyre, but I'm worried about the tyre life at the end. I don't think we're gonna have much of a tyre left. Whereas this we're gonna have plenty of tyre, we could attack with it. Yeah, I'm going with that. Let's go with the fast pit stop as well. That's good. Go with that one. You're going to turn it up and go. Get some boost on as well and just kind of close up the gap a bit. DeVille is also going to now go for it as well. And uh, you're going to come in. And I'm kind of leaning towards maybe going with this uh, super soft again. 11 laps. Let's get like a bunch of fuel on that so we can just keep the tight. I'm kind of tempted to go with that. Split them up. She's got, she's done better than um, Lara has. You know, she's just going to get like 12 laps, 12, 13 laps out of that. She could easily get to the end, but she's not, again, she's not going to have much tyre. I think we're going to go with it, split the strategies up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to knock that off now. Going to keep an eye and then we're going to boost when we can. Let's boost, you're out now and off, off you go. That is perfect. I mean, to be honest, DeVille, the way she's keeping that tyre going, she could probably done another lap. 
uh, if we'd not pushed it. Like, you know, I think she probably could have done another lap. Okay, right, she's in. Yeah, Lara's down here, but there's a bunch of people going to stop. I think these people are going to stop. It's only going to be a couple of, like, Dutt. Kuchevik. Oh, she's out. Right, let's let's keep pushing. Let's keep that down to high now. And then we're going to get... The village really got to cut away through the field on this fresh set of tyres. First couple of laps, she's really got to make some progress. She's stuck down in this uh, group, group, though. She's got to get past all these people. Come on, man. How are you pushing your way through? We're in a U set of... Uh, okay, it's not you. Fair enough. Thought you were on the really worn set of uh, mediums for a second then. Uh, let's hit the boost as well and see if we can just kind of clear the number the seventh car. I just really want to get through as many of these cars as we can. Right, okay. There we go. Let's drop it down now. I'm going to keep you pushing for a little bit, I think. Because you got plenty of tyre wear. I think we're okay to do that. Churning through the tyres. Yeah, I know. Bunch of people stopping again. That is perfect. So Balak is the only one I think that's going to go to the end. I think everyone else is going to stop. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, right. I think we're going to back you up for a second. Back you up as well. There we go. This is good. This is good. I think I don't think Neato Neato is definitely going to get it, and I don't think uh, Kuzla is going to get Kazla is going to get there. I think Balak is going to struggle as well. Yes, you're going to get to the end, but you're going to struggle on that tire. I don't reckon you're going to do it. I don't reckon you're going to do it. Let's go conserve. And then we've got to get uh, Lara up there as well. Uh, we need Lara to do some boosting, actually. She's uh, got quite a bit of boost freight, so we'll get her to boost down this straight, I think. And then let's get some conserve on that. Emily Smith has crashed. Okay. Wow, did she only just put that tire on? Yeah, I think she's... Did she just come out of the pits and crash? <laughs> I think she might have done. Yeah, I think she might have done. Okay, right, let's go again. Yeah, we're conserving way too much. Let's go. Let's go again. We've got plenty of tyres. I think we can start pulling you in in a minute. That's seven laps to go. We'll hit Brita Hybrid mode just for a little bit. Why's the car looking? I think we're probably going to go overtake in a minute as well. Yeah, we've got plenty of tyres now. Balak is just going for it, but I well, I question whether you can get to the end. You're gonna, I think you probably can, but you're not going to have much of a tyre left. We're going to have plenty of tyres, which we're going to attack with. Uh, how's Lara doing? Yeah, she's doing okay. We kind of need you to... Ooh, never mind. Oh, Lahane's coming in. That's fine. I was just about to say, we kind of need you to overtake, but there we go. Oh, Dutt's coming. Someone's coming in the pits as well. Oh, it's Niato. Yeah. So there we go. The Villa is in second place now. This is looking good, man. We are matching you time-wise, but I say your tyres are... I'm gonna, it's going to be difficult for you to get to the end, I think. I think it's going to be difficult for you to get to the end. Dutt, as well, is going to be struggling on those tyres towards the end. So I think we're probably... What are we now? Five laps away. Let's kind of back those up for another lap. And then I think we're just going to unleash it and just shred the tyres a bit. Maybe go to push or something. And we'll uh, turn the engines up, flick the hybrid mode on so we can save a bit of fuel. Uh, we might as well do that now, actually, whilst we're kind of uh, engines down a bit. <clears throat> They're going to be conserving. I kind of think like they might come in. I think Ballot might come in. I don't think you can get to the end on that. I don't think you can get to the end on that tyre. Four laps to go. I think they're coming in. I think they're coming in, yeah. I think so. Okay, right. Let's go to there. Yep, they're coming in. They are coming in. Right, Lara is our focus then. Because duh, I think I think Lara's done enough. Let's switch that off because we've got plenty of fuel. Start pushing. Lara, you gotta go for it now. You gotta go. You gotta really go for it. To be honest, Deville can start pushing as well. We've got three laps to go, yeah. I think we've got plenty of fuel as well. We gotta start reeling in dirt. 
Lara's got plenty of tyre left. She's reeling them in really quickly. She's going to start shredding that tyre, but I think that's fine. We've got half the tyre to go. She's got two laps to go. There we go. Nailed it. Well done. I kind of want to try and get a fastest lap. I know we're going to kind of wreck this tyre, but I kind of want to go for it. See if we can do it. Both drivers. Let's get a bit of a boost. See if we can do this. We're just going to go for it now. We've got plenty of fuel. Things are starting to fall off the car, but yeah, we're just going for it. I don't care. We're going for it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we're able to do a fastest lap, unfortunately. But still, we're going to get a good points haul out of this by the looks of it. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, Alara, 31.2, 31.9, 31.7... 31.4 for Lara. Yeah, we're like uh, really quick. It's apart from Balak, who's on a fresh set of supers. Um, you know, you're going to be expect them to be quick. Um, Davili's shredding those tyres. We might need to get her to slow down. Screw it. We're going to risk it. Let's go for it. Let's do it. She's going to come right down to those tyres going off, but I think that super soft's wear less. Lightfoot on the supers is really helping us out. Hit that boost, hit that boost. We've kind of got too much boost there, but there we go. One, two. Yes, there we go. And Balcazar didn't score any points. Kuchvik only scored a couple of points. I hope, you know, did they score? I think they got poles, so they only get three points, but still. Yes, that was a good one. There we go, another, another one, two. That is what I want. That is what we want. Oh yeah, DeVille, wow, you're doing really well as well. Lara had the better car there, um, you know. Right, so there we go. That was another great points haul. 16 points in total. And, oh, it was Balak that got the pole. I didn't actually know because I just simulated the last qualifying session because we weren't in it. And, uh, yes, yeah, so Kuchevic did only score two points. Oh, that is really nice. And, yeah, nobody else got a fastest lap. It was uh, Wolfgang Racing. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Wolfhagen, whatever they're called, are racing. Oh, sweet. That is nice. Oh, a double podium again. One, two. That is sweet. That is really sweet. And there we go. We've, De Villi is closing the gap to uh, Kuchevic. That is a phenomenal thing. Wow. I didn't think she was that good, but... Uh, I mean, she did have that light foot on the super, so that did really help her out there. But still, Lara, the amount of performance she gained from that weight stripping... Kind of expected more from Lara, to be honest, on that one. But, uh, you know, she did really well, nevertheless. And there we go. 15 points clear now. Oh, yes. That is good. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That is beautiful. We're just coming up to the halfway point as well. Oof. This is, this is looking tasty. It didn't look good to start with, but double podiums back to back. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Right, so here we go. Stack gains coming in now. And, well, DeVille, wow, look at that. That was a nice but chunk of brake performance. Yeah, uh, Annette is coming up really nicely. I really hope she kind of gets that at least half a star so we get three and a half star driver. That would be really sweet for next season. Uh, you got the new unlock, which is just pit stop legend. It's not that great. I think that super soft, uh, light footed on the supers is probably better, to be honest. But, um, yeah, you know, one second faster pit stops, not terrible, but... Uh, not not a great one to be honest. Um, you've kept all that nurse perk and everything. That's great. Chairman's happiness has gone up. That's good. Just marketing sucks really is our only issue. But we did also get one part of that uh, sponsor. So, you know, we'd have only got 700k anyway for the other one. And we wouldn't actually got it because we didn't even get into Q, uh, Q3 for the uh, for the qualifying. So we'd have got half that. So I think it's worth risking that. If you can get it on one side qualifying or the race, you know, you get the get the full amount that we'd have got with the other one so i think it's worth going for that sponsorship ship i think that's 700k that's nice right well there we are that was another absolutely phenomenal race for us that was a brilliant one that was so good um you know lara i kind of expected more from lara to be honest just because of the weight stripping but uh, she did really well uh deville was on the super sauce for the whole thing as well which really helped her out i think to be honest um, not qualifying in the in qualifying three and keeping those two sets of supers so she could use that light footed on the supers. I think that kind of helped her out there, to be honest. And to be honest, that might help Lara out as well because um, she was able to go out on the soft tyre and then put the medium tyre on them, but they were just able to attack and just shred it. But tyres were overheating, but we were able to just kind of blast past everybody and just, you know, burn up the tyres that we've got. 
Um, so yeah, that that was another phenomenal race. And Deville, she's really closed the gap on Kujovic. I thought Kujovic had kind of got this one, but you know she's closed it in. But hey, there's still uh, what still eight races to go. So uh, you know we're not out of the woods yet because coming up to halfway point in Beijing, and so. Yeah, you know, it's still all to play for, but it's looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, we're looking good. We just got to keep this momentum going and, uh, you know, the, just keep bringing more of those parts online. Uh, the gearbox, hopefully that'll be done and we might be able to use that for Beijing. That would be really good. Uh, well, I think Lara can use it because uh, she didn't need 100% on the uh, reliability and it's got a small red zone as well. But, you know, if we get the 100% on the reliability, that just means Lara can strip more weight out of it. So that's really good. Although we could end up giving it to Danica. I'm mm, not too sure on that one. May end up doing that, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to call it here and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment with your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.